Well, all I can think about now is that game two years ago. You know, it wasn't my best day or the team's. And uh, we just want to go back up there and, and play better this time. Hopefully, you come out with a win. Well, I can guarantee you our, our players get up to it, too. Uh, Utah still a Utah, and it's still the biggest game of the year. And I think the fact that it has uh, conference championship overtones uh, makes it all the more uh, gratifying for us to be in this situation, to be playing for the championship again, and to be playing Utah. I, I can think of no one I'd rather be playing uh, year in and year out for the conference championship than uh, to have it come down to this last game between BYU and Utah. I think it's great for the area, and I think it. Uh, uh, create a lot more interest in football and we both have to expand our stadiums and uh, it would be a great growth for both of us. For two weeks you've had a guy up there in a black shirt with a number nine on his back wearing McMahon in your practice. What I want to know is that guy still alive? He's still alive because uh, we we're training our offensive linemen to emulate BYU holding our defensive guys and we just can't get to the guy. Is there anything personal in a BYU Utah rivalry? Yeah, it's you know it's just like us in Utah State, but I think uh, us against Utah is a little bigger, bigger rivalry. Why? I don't know why. I just not too many uh, friends are, are made out there with, between us and Utah. A day when electricity was in the air. Some rain was also in the air, and Coach Wayne Howard and Lavelle Edwards both wondered if everything would click. Chopper 5 added to the pregame by dropping out of the sky with the new Ute, and 31,000 fans cheered when the Ute led the players onto the field. Bipartisan fans threw snowballs to remind the Cougars of the game two years ago, but from then on it was all BYU. Ball on the one, Jim McMahon hands off to Eric Lane, and after the PAT it was 7 to nothing Cougars. In the second quarter, ball on the seven. McMahon drops back, sees a big hole up the middle. It's 14 to nothing with 6.06 left in the half. Jim had a super day here on the Utah Five. Defense almost gets to him. Watch as he slips a player, runs right. He sidearms a perfect TD pass to Clay Brown at the half. It was 21 to zip Cougars. Clay Brown had a super day here with about five minutes left in the third quarter. Play starts at the 24. McMahon drops back to the 15, throws to Brown, who catches it at the 35. From there, the 6'3", 230-pound senior rumbles and weaves all the way to the goal line. By this time, the game was out of hand. The score after the PAT, it was 42 to nothing, BYU. Utah's Ricky Harden completed 19 of 31 passes for 258 yards. This one to Floyd Hodge, who gets to the 19, and the first play of the fourth quarter. You'll see coming up the players march to the other end of the field. Harden hands off to Hillary Johnson, six points. The final was 56 to 6. Utah gained 383 yards on the day. BYU 620. McMahon had passed for 399 yards. And the Cougars would again represent the WAC at the December 19th Holiday Bowl. I'm Don Judd, KSL Sports.